Today we're gonna do space shooters, but did you notice one thing on my shirt? The solar system, our solar system. If you saw our last video, that time we were talking about our solar system. And today we're gonna talk about space shooters. Dun, dun, dun. It's an alien invasion, but we're gonna knock them out. So this is a smartivity toy, an educational toy. This will teach us about day and night, Earth's movement, eclipse, for eight plus. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna build our space shooter game. We're gonna fire a name at those mean aliens. And we're gonna place my smartphone as the sun. So in this box, we have all these items, including the, whatever do we have, and including this very informational photo. Learn about movement of Earth and Moon. Let's open! Da -da -da. Whoa! Okay, that is one big sun. No doubt. That is one very big sun. Here we have the manual and everything. This manual shows how to disassemble the pieces, how to, you know, use them, what type of pieces there are. It's very cool. So I'm gonna build by following the manual. And after I'm done, I'll show you guys and we'll learn about science. Whoa, that's how much I've done. Pretty cool, huh? So this is how far I got. The moon is gonna spin. So I'm making Earth right now. And as you can see, I'm gonna have to go like whoop, whoop, whoop. And then it'll turn into a bowl like shape. The same thing's gonna happen with the sun. So far, I did this much. So here I just, I'm placing some aliens. Here we got the missile ballista. Here we got the moon and Earth. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue adding these aliens and then I have to place these clips. Ouch! Let me tell you all the parts. Here we got our launcher, our pointers, which are right underneath. Then we got our Earth. We got moon, and we got our big ball of goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That's our sun. And on top of it, we have a rocket. These aliens look so cute, as they're all different. Here we got our year counter and our month pointer. And here we got a die. Guys, we're getting a word from base. Guys, Astro Watch 132 is reporting a message. Wait. A fleet of alien ships are detected. Message received. Wait, what does it say? 
We will destroy the light of your galaxy, your sun. Protect it if you can. So we can take out the aliens. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Ugh, why did I miss? This is a game you can play with this set. Why do I keep missing? So the game is called Save the Light. This is the setup. Set the timer to four years left. Set the month to Jan. Place all 11 alien ships. Keep these two big ones empty. And attach your pegs on Earth. It's a two player game, so we have to take chance by chance, like you, then me, then you, then me. And we gotta help from Astro Shield. They're gonna help us take down these aliens with their super accurate, super duper powerful missile, the Ballista. Hiya! Why do I keep missing? First, we take our dice, which is right here. We roll it and see what we got. I got two. So I have to go two months ahead of January. So one. Two. Oops. So I turned the dial to March, which is two months ahead of January. And then let's see where our clip shows. Our clip shows that it's daytime. <coughs> so daytime means that you get three chances to hit these aliens. Fire in the hole! Let's try it one more time. This time, I got a good idea. Fire in the hole. Uh, last try. I need to get an alien ship. So my dad is rolling the dice. Roll, roll, roll. He got. So I have to bring my dad's two numbers. Hey, that will be me. There we go. Now we have to check. So my dad got night time. That means he gets two chances. He told me I have to do it. So let's see. Um, same it down here and. Ooh, that's a hard miss. So it's now my turn again. Two years are gone. So let's roll the dice. So there's one year left until we are dead. There's one more alien left. I see my dad's losing. So let's get this alien out of here. Three. Yes, two months. One, two, four. We are on the brink. See, there's a dead sign right here so aliens won we lost now we're gonna do the science part but the very good thing is they have a storage pouch where you can keep all your game supplies in here to learn some fun facts we better take out this ballista and the moon I already took out the rocket so let me just turn it to my side. Eh. Ouch. How does the Earth move around the sun? Well, it moves around by a gravitational pull. Say, for example, my hand is the sun and this rocket is Earth. So I'll just place this in. Yes, so there we go, and it spins like this. Simple as that. 
So the rocket is the Earth, and my hand is the sun. Just the sun doesn't move like that. It's just the sun stays still, but the Earth moves like that. To show you how day and night works, I took out the sun, and I'm gonna use this phone stand. As you notice on one of the sides, there's only one peg. And that peg is gonna decide if it's nighttime or daytime. By that sense, I mean, if it points here, it's gonna be nighttime. If it points here, it's gonna be daytime. So I'll take my phone and use its flashlight as the sun. So, get ready. Let's turn out the lights. Now it's completely dark, so let's turn on the flashlight of my phone. So as you can see, the peg has no light because it is nighttime on this side. But as you turn it, look what it is. It's daytime. So you can see it's daytime where the peg is. For example, here we got Asia here, right? So it's daytime there and probably where some of you guys are living in the states it's nighttime you can see that our flashlight is our sun the light is coming on this part of the world but not the other so i'll slowly rotate and show you how it works Day and I work because the earth rotates on its axis. This is not a real axis, but the real axis is on a tilt and goes like this. It's on a slight turn, goes like that. Have you ever wondered how a year happens? Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you today. How does a year happen? So, here we have January. And as you know, the Earth also rotates around the sun. So it goes, uh, if it takes one entire circle around the sun. And we're back on Jan, and it's a new year. So for one year, the Earth takes an entire circle around the sun, which equals one year, uh, 12 months, 52 weeks, and 365 days. The movement of Earth around the sun is called a revolution. And the Earth revolves around the Sun in an orbit. To learn about eclipse, we're going to need to take out our Earth. So to show the eclipse, we have to take away this, put the stand back on, and take out Earth and put in the moon, and then put Earth back. The flashlight is our sun again. There's our moon and earth. <gasps> Look what happened. The moon is between the sun and earth. What is that called? This is known as or called the solar eclipse. So as you can see, the, the sun is not able to provide full sunlight on earth so the moon is blocking the sunlight, which is creating this shadow, if you can see. What happened if the earth comes in between the moon and sun? So this is the position. This is a lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the earth's shadow falls on the moon, meaning that the sunlight can uh, cannot reach the moon because the earth is blocking the sunlight that reaches the moon. 
I really love this uh, stem toy. It's fun to build, and the best part is you can do a game, and also there are other things to learn in this. And the best part is you can play this game with your friends, family, and other people. And it's reusable. Thanks for watching and also show your support by subscribing my channel and also following me on Facebook and Instagram. Bye bye!